again and happy Monday. We have quite a few places still hanging out over that 70 degree mark. Some of those warmer spots, Paint Rock, Menard, and Junction hanging on to 72 degrees. Ballinger just behind them at 71. Abilene at 70 even. We're down in the 60s here in San Angelo at 69 degrees, but that relatively cool spot up north, Sweetwater all the way down to 66 degrees already. Now overnight, we're going to continue to keep up these warmer than average temperatures really only dipping into the 40s. Some of those warmer temperatures across our eastern county seeing more of the upper 40s. Possible 50 degree mark at Comanche. 48 expected between Brace, Brady and Mason, forgive me. Abilene expected to get down to 46 as well as San Angelo. That cooler spot going to be farther west. Snyder and Big Spring looking to get down to 41 degrees. Now we're going to keep up these above average temperatures through the first half of the work week tomorrow. Topping out in the upper or not 70s by Wednesday, possibly getting into the 80s. Those gusty winds picking up starting tomorrow, but really on Wednesday, you're going to see some very gusty winds ahead of our next cold front that'll come through by the second half of this week, bringing us a little closer to average back in the upper 50s by Thursday. Now, speaking of those winds, here's a look at the forecast wind speeds and wind gusts over the next 48 hours. By tomorrow morning, starting to see wind gusts upwards of 20 miles per hour up in the big country. Abilene seeing wind gusts around 22, Eastland around 23. Going to see those peak wind gusts tomorrow afternoon north of that I-20 line seeing wind gusts up to about 30 miles per hour. Here in San Angelo still seeing wind gusts over 20 miles per hour, but that's not even as fast as it's going to get. Things starting to calm down after sunset, but they're going to pick back up by sunrise on Wednesday. We'll see those peak wind gusts Wednesday afternoon with wind gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour up in the Snyder area. Abilene looking at around 25 mile per hour wind gusts. Haskell around 30 mile per hour wind gusts. We're seeing those wind gusts as this upper level high kind of the moves itself over us ahead of that next upper level low that'll approach bringing that surface cold front towards us by Wednesday. That'll move through the area fairly quickly by the time we're checking back in for the six o'clock already moving into the hill country not really expecting any rain with this cold front just going to help those temperatures get a little closer to average by thursday morning seeing that cloud cover mainly south of that i-20 line as we're expecting mostly sunny skies by thursday afternoon so we'll see some cloudy conditions wednesday cloudy and breezy conditions on wednesday ahead of that cold front the sun returning by thursday along with those near average temperatures but we're going to warm up pretty quickly by the end of the weekend Getting back to that 70 degree mark, looking like we could see some more cloud cover and isolated rain chances by the start of next week. But we'll have more details on that as they become available. Until then, back to you as Marauder.